Now I'm going to show you how to open a Jupyter Notebook in Microsoft Azure. So um, the first thing I'm going to do is show you how you open a notebook that you would already have on Azure. Then I'll show you how to get a notebook from someone else. So in order to use Microsoft Azure, you have to have an account. So if you go to um, notebooks.azure.com and click on it, um, you will see a welcoming screen. And if you already have a Microsoft account, all you need to do is just say sign in. And so as you can see here, it's already prompting me to use my Microsoft account. And I already have this through Vanderbilt, so I should just be able to log in. Um, oh, great. I'm going to have to do two-factor authentication. All right. I'm going to go ahead and say it's all right for it for me to stay signed in. It wants me to create a user ID, which I actually already have. I will go ahead and say that. So now I have a series of projects that I have already on my Azure account. And so essentially each of these behaves as like an independent um, place where I can keep my work. And each one of them is basically a separate server instance if I start them up. So I'm going to go ahead and click on uh, this project right here. And so what I have now is a page that's basically equivalent to the navigation page that I saw on the local version of, um, of the uh, Jupyter Notebooks. So here I can see I'm navigating from my projects down to intermediate Python 2020. And here is a Jupyter Notebook. So when I click on this Jupyter Notebook, it opens in another tab, just like it did. Um, and now, oops, I made that a little too big. Uh, so as you can see, the, inter the uh, interface here is almost exactly like the interface on the local notebooks. So I can create new cells. I can choose whether I want them to be code or markdown. I can also just run a cell exactly like I did um, before. So um, this is a, once you get to this point, you uh, basically are um, operating a Jupyter Notebook just like the Jupyter Notebooks that you would have locally.